Right now I'm working on getting all the angles for the top and the feet cut correctly. For the top, all I'm going to do is pretty much square it off of the center. So you can just line your square up and just draw a line. And we'll take it over to the bandsaw and I'll just cut this, the very top of these off. Now for the bottom, what you have to do is spread it out to what kind of uh, shape you would want it whenever you're going to be doing your uh, painting or drawing. And I think that's a fairly good little angle right there. So what I'm going to be doing is taking this and sliding it right down. And I will try to get this even along the bottom and then you lock it in. I've already gotten it locked in on another leg. But then you can just move it up to the corner. You just move it right there to the corner. Take your pencil and then you go to your other one. Make sure you're going in the exact same direction. And then for your middle one, you want to go in the opposite direction. And then you can take these over to the bandsaw and cut these as well. Alright, we're back from the bandsaw now. And as you can see, the leg is flat right there on all the sides that one is flat that's flat and the back leg is flat one thing I forgot to mention is that once you draw your line right there your table saw table has to be set at the 10 degree angle that you cut the other things at. I've been working on the channel for the easel or the painting pieces to actually sit in. I used a 5 8 inch router bit to uh, just go in the groove and I made four different passes, two on each side and just went and lowered it a little bit each time that way I didn't tear too much out. So now what I'm going to have to do is just clean up the inside edges a little bit and then I should be able to mount it just like that. To get the links apart, you can simply take a screwdriver and just pry it apart a little bit. The link will come apart. Then you can just take it around your hook and use a pair of pliers and squeeze it back together. And your chain's back together now. And just like that, we've completed another simple project for the house. This can be really nice for my wife to do her paintings on. It's going to be able to collapse and put it away behind a couch or somewhere that we want to keep it out of the way. Or we can actually leave it open and display paintings on. And we don't have to worry about the back leg going too far away or splitting it far apart because of the chain. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and share it around on all the social network. If this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for the latest updates on woodwork and blacksmithing stuff that I'm doing. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video.